Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, today I thought I'd share with you my new 2x72 belt grinder that I just recently completed. Or, uh, shouldn't say completed, but I've still got a few things to do. Um, the tool rest has been waiting for me to finish it for a couple weeks. And then I still need to blow it back apart, clean up some edges, and then I think I'm going to actually clear coat it instead of paint it. I kind of like the uh, raw metal look. Here she is in all her glory. Um, some of you might have seen my previous grinder build, which I did a full build video series over. Um, I'll put a little clip of it in. This one is so much quieter. I, I don't know if it's just a solid steel or better wheel alignment or something, but you're going to hear this one. Noise wise, night and day difference. And man, I, I love how much quieter this one is. Um, I will link below in the comments where I got the plans for what I built. Um, I will say there's a few changes that I had to make. One of the main ones being that the stock I ordered for the sides of the main arm support, it measures two inches wide. Either it or my bar are a little off. I believe it's in this material, a few thousands too shy, to where when I clamped this together or bolted it together, there wasn't enough clearance for this, I think it's inch and a quarter, no, two inch solid square bar to fit in. It was just a super snug fit and wasn't going to work. Um, and I'll show you closer up that. I just shimmed them up a little bit on both sides. Um, other than that, I didn't change much. Uh, made a little handle on the lathe I used to have. I think a few of you may have seen it. And it's just a pulley drive with step pulleys. I got a belt which was recommended to me by, I want to say it was Bob Rankin on Instagram, but I'll have to double check that. Anyway, it's one of these, uh, I don't know what they call them, twist V belt, power twist V belt, with the adjustable links for making any length you need. So far, I've been really happy with it. Runs smooth, doesn't try to track funny or anything. I'll show you a little closer up. You can see here, this is where I was talking about having to shim it up a little. And I actually just took a really long hose clamp I had and cut it into slots that would fit in these sections between each bolt. Um, rather than using a cap head, I decided to use these, I don't know what do you call them, like a flat head. And countersink them just for a little cleaner look. And like I said, I need to come back and blow this part and clean up all this layout dye and such off of it. Um, my spring is a 30 pound strut, which I will also link in the description below. My tracking wheel and drive wheel are both from Oregon Blade Maker. My contact wheel off the top of my head I can't remember, but I'll put it on screen so you guys can see it. Um, this is what I've done in the short term for a uh, spindle, I guess you'd call it. It's just a piece of half inch all thread. I need to change that to a bolt with a shoulder, but uh, I've been slacking. Um, a motor just drilled and tapped the plate from the bottom which gave me four places where those bolts always stay and I can pull tension on the motor crank down on these bolts and get my belt tension which it stretched a little but still
not having any problems with it. Um, I've also built a, or this is the flat platen off my old grinder. Just made a new arm for it. Well, that reminds me, one thing I did change on the plans. This called for, I think, a one inch wide piece here with your pivot three quarters of an inch out or something. I made that an inch and a quarter piece with the pivot at one inch, I believe. And it's worked out well for me. I don't know if you'd have to do that. It's just, I don't know. With the measuring I was doing, that's what seemed to be right. So that's what it got. I still need to get another arm for my small wheel attachment. But other than that, I've just been using it. I'll show you a few knives at this end of this end of this video I've done with it. And that's about it. If you guys have any questions, let me know and I'll be glad to answer what I can. Alright, like I said, if you guys have any questions, um, shoot me an email, bluedoggarage at aol.com or you can find me on Instagram or Facebook. Um, there's not a whole lot really to show you. I took some video of it while I was building it, but you know, most of it's not my design by any means, so I didn't really feel right about showing a build video of it. But um, the plans I got were actually written up by a guy named Michael Clerk, I believe. Um, like I said, the link below in the description. That's all I got for now. See you guys soon.